Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you. I am the Layback Gamer, and we're back with some more Elder Scrolls Legends. Finally, after a month, minus the stream last weekend that we that I've been away, we're finally back! And wow, has it been a long time. So, you may ask, what are we doing on this page? What are we doing on this page here? I mean, we, we already know how you did in the gauntlet if you watched the stream. No, you didn't do as well as you hoped. You got all your quests. What have you been doing? What have you been up to? Well, to you, my friends, I answer this. Today is the day a new series kicks off. We are putting a hold on the Quest to Legend series for the time being. Just because, as you can see, I didn't quite make it into rank 5 last month. But, don't fear. I am still trying to work on that. Uh, I also don't have all of my Return to Clockwork City videos made up. Also very unfortunate, but I am hoping to get working on those, hopefully, well, pick it back up in a couple of weeks or so when school dies down a little bit, just enough for me to crank out maybe one or two episodes. So what else are we doing here? Well, if you have noticed... Well, maybe not have noticed, but I always kept saying I keep forgetting to change my title. And that's exactly what the series is going to be about. But we cannot be the immortal, not for this series. Not really anything here really suits it. The only thing that would really come close to doing it, if I could find it, is the Relic Hunter. Because we are going, instead of relics, we are hunting titles. That's right, this is a series to hunt down whatever remaining titles we have to get. And I have quite a few of them to gain. Um, I think I've gotten almost half the about half the titles that I can see on here. And there are some hidden ones that don't reveal themselves until after you get it, but we will go through them. So this video is me just going to be explaining how I got each of these titles and how... Uh, how I hit, how I'm going to get a new one, which I'm going to try to do this game. So the immor we'll start with the immortal, which is the one I use all the time. I seem to use all the time. The immortal have a hundred health at some point in in a game. I'm pretty sure this would mean any game. So if that is the case, then it also means that there is a part of the Clockwork City expansion where if you get to who it, you have a choice between. Uh, destroying the heart of Lorcan or using it to defeat Mechanar. And if you choose to use it, you will instantly zip up to 100 health. I'm pretty sure that would count as the requirement for the Immortal. If not, just pack a ton of healing. That's all you have to do, just pack a ton of healing in your deck. Basically, heal until your opponent says, I'm done, I can't do this anymore. I have seen some people do it on ladder and drain decks. I believe in the Grand Melee run we saw someone go up to 60, and had we not been able to stop them, I think they could have easily have made 100. Um, not going to go over too much over the next few. Who College Scholar, complete three College of Winterhold quests. There's one to complete 10, and I think one to complete 25. Very easy, just complete the quests as you go. Same with the Companions, the Fighters Guild. Oh, it's 30, my bad. Uh, well, at least 30 for the Fighters Guild. Could only be 25 for Winterhold and Companions, I don't know. Friends to Animals, aided by the Wolves at Bleak Coast Ridge. So that's a Clockwork to Return to Clockwork City title, where I decided to aid the Wolves. I am pretty sure something will happen if I decide to keep the ring. And there's actually a title in here that will reveal that. Jack of Trades, Complete Master Wizard, Blade Master, Captain, and Seer. We'll get to what those are, but some of these purple, rare, uh, I call them epic titles. Uh, most of them you either have, you have to either complete a string of quests or purchase them, like the Relic Hunter, for example. Or, in the case of the Immortal, do a really, really hard, yet yeah, if you design your deck well, not as hard uh, feat in the game. Major Guild Associate, same as College of Winterhold. 
Uh, Animal Lover, complete Master Way Rest Plains. Uh, that's if you complete the Dark Brotherhood and you get to that point. That's a Dark Brotherhood quest on Master. The Assassin, use lethal creatures to kill 200 creatures. Pretty self-explanatory. Black March Re Leader, 300 Argonians. Pretty self-explanatory. And here's where we get into some of the titles that we needed for the Jack of All Trades. The Blade Master, play 200 items. Best deck for that, item Battle Mage. The Captain, play 100 guards. Best deck for that, I would say would be a, a guard, heavy guard spell sword because you can find a ton of guards in there. The Celebrity, play the Adoring Fan. You get the Adoring Fan during the, I believe during the, uh, the opening story. So you'll get him pretty easy. Chaos, the Chamberland of Shagorath, play one, complete one Chaos Arena event. So it's just, beat it. That it, All you have to do is just play through it, complete it, and you're good. City Destroyer, destroy the heart of Lorcan, the city savior, use the heart of Lorcan. Uh, they, go hand, hand, they go with that quest that I said is a trick tip to get the immortal achievement. So one is you pick the path to destroy it, the other is you pick the path to save it, and then you just beat the games. Clan Chieftain, some 300 orcs. Obviously, Orc Warrior, best deck for that. Cle the Clever, defeat your opponent in six turns or less. The most common way you can get this, or the most standard way you can get this, is if your opponent just flat out leaps. Uh, for either from disconnect, or they just don't want to play against your title or your class. I had that happen very early on where I was playing Battle Mage. And I guess the opponent I went up against said, Nope, tired of battle mages, instant concede. And it counts for your counts for the clever. The uh, conquer, win 500 games. That is a overtime feat where you have to do, you have to win, well, win 500 games. The cunning, win 100 games with, the intel, with an intelligence deck. I think, and correct me if I, I'm apologizing if I'm wrong, I believe you can use any a deck that has the intelligence class in it. It should work the same as the quests. So you can do it with a mage, a assassin, sorcerer, battle mage, any one of those four, or just pure intelligence. Uh, as long as you win 100 games with the intelligence attribute, should be fine. The same will go for the rest of the attributes, so I'm just going to skim over those. Another epic level one, the Daedric Master, complete soup. Supreme Atromancer, Ironmonger, and Flesh of Master, or Master of Flesh, not Flesh of Master. We'll get to that. The Deadly, deadly Kill a Thousand Creatures. Easiest way to do that is do it with Lethal Creatures, and by that account, it will. you can also use it to be, to get the Assassin title. Uh, the Defiant, win, win a game at one health. Surprisingly, that's not very hard to do, just... Let your opponent and either beat you down or beat yourself down a little bit. I've won plenty of games at one health. The Deflector, give 500... Not 500, give 50 wards with Elixir of Deflection. So there's a card in the game called Elixir of Deflection, and you just give 50 wards using that. That was a card I used in, in my item Battle Mage, and it just allowed my creatures to survive some extra, uh, some extra hits. Deal a thousand da ten thousand damage. That could be by creature or by spell. Uh, there is no one way to really get this. This is more of it. Go again. Goes hand in hand with the kill a thousand creatures or win and win five hundred games. Not so much a not so much with the uh, assassin, but you can do it using that. I don't know. The Dovahkiin, a mortal warrior with the soul of a dragon. That's a title I got for purchasing some, for purchasing. Uh, I think a car, a special offer for card packs. Uh, the Dragonborn, complete Dragon Slayer, Dr Master of Dragons, and Film Master. We'll get to that. Speaking of which, the next one, the first one is right below us. Uh, kill fifty dragons to get the Dragon Slayer. That was pretty easy early on in. Heroes of Skyrim, where everyone was playing dragons. Not so much nowadays, but it's one that you'll eventually get over time. Uh, the Earthbone. I cannot pronounce that name. Ancestor of Men and Myrrh. 
That was one I got for being an... I don't know how I got it, actually. I, I don't remember how I got that achievement. Or that title. That's the only one in this list that I don't remember. Uh, the Escape Artist free, sa free Sails Through Storms in the in Mistvale Dungeon. Another Return to Clockwork City title. Another Return to Clockwork City title you can earn. I said that right originally. And I believe I've showcased that one already in one of in my Return to Clockwork vi see, it, Return to Clockwork City uh, gameplay of the video or, or of the, the title. The Fisherman kill ten slaughterfish. I found that I find that to be very easy if you're a newer player. Not so much later on in the game, although I have killed a couple slaughterfish every now and then. Best place to get that is Arena, if you're not a in the newer player ranks. The Forgotten Hero, starting title, you just start with it. The Founder, early supporter of the game, I bought a, I bought a pack set to get that. The Golden, deal 8 damage with a, with a gold brand activation. Uh, it's very easy to do that, either you have it on the field and get an extra charge through cauldron keeper or have tower alchemist on the field and use an and attack once with it so long as your gold brand doesn't get destroyed pretty easy title to gain and nowadays i see that very very easy to get the great spy oh the grand spy i can't pronounce that seven three hundred high elves very simple self-explanatory the great main 300 khajiit very expel self explanatory the healer gain 500 health you'll likely get this one trying to get the immortal if if you can't get it, it through the clockwork city expansion you'll likely have many failed attempts but those failed attempts do add up to get you the healer the high king 300 bretons also self-explanatory the hiss mage reach 15 max, max magicka in a game very easy to do, especially since the Hiss Grove, it requires you to do that in order to start having it, it in order to summon two Swamp Leviathans. Uh, House Leader, 300 Dark Elves, Imperial Captain, 300 Imperials, Ironmonger. This one, I specially soul-crafted the Iron Atronach for it. And at the time, I didn't really like the card. Now I love the card. And deal 120 damage with the Iron Atronach. So basically attack 10 times with it on the field. I remember my first few times trying to get this. Basically I played the creature and my opponent did an instant concede. Which is why it became to be my favorite card. Because I always looked at it and said, Sometimes this will give me a free win. Which is awesome. Uh, the King's Protector, Spare the King of Wayrest. Dark Brotherhood Achievement. You have a choice to kill the King or spare the King. I don't... Well, I do... Ha Actually, I have Kingslayer. I decided to go back, I believe, and kill her. And kill it. Uh, the Listener, defeat Uth Uther at the night... At night... His mother's Crypt. I didn't quite get the other... The, the flip side of that, which is... Destroy the Dark Brotherhood at the Night Mother's Crypt. But I'm working on that. Lone Creature. Win a game by dealing one da damage with one creature... The most likely way you'll get that is if you play a creature, attack, and your opponent has DC'd. Other than that, you're going to have to be really, really skilled and pray that your creature does not get removed. Uh, the Lucky Lady, deal 20 damage with the Night Mother. Basically, activate the Night Mother, which is a card from the Dark Brotherhood collection. Master of Dragons, required for the Dragonborn. Summon two, 20 dragons in one game. Best way I got this, play Dragon Mound. Deck's now full of dragons. Master of Flesh. This was the toughest one out of the Daedric Master, which was to summon a 20 or more powerful Flesh Atronach. And I believe it has to have, like, you have to have it gain 20 stats. So not, it doesn't include the 1-1, which was weird. I thought that was weird because it said get 20. And it, it didn't give it to me. So then I figured, yeah, we'll just... Hmm. Uh, the Master of Mirrors, get three copies of a unique creature in place. So unique, like Ancano, Naglir, Nakshim. Uh, Ongol, the Listener, is another, is a more popular one. Tazcad, basically all the ones with the gem on it. 
easiest way I found to do this, uh, actually how I did it was, hope that your dragon mound gives you three unique creatures. I believe I got three Nagleams. Oh, and the other way, the other way to do this is to run a mage deck and just blink a unique creature in. I think I did it a couple times where I blinked on Kano a few times, which counts as summoning, or get you had three copies in play. Oh wait, it's play and play. I, I don't know. Uh, Doppelganger will help with that. Galen will also oh, help. Let's keep moving. Master Wizard, five hundred actions. You'll get the you'll get some of these ones. You'll get easily trying to get another one. Uh, the Mighty. He, 100 games with the strength deck. Like I said, anything with the strength attribute should count. The Monster Hunter. Kill 150 undead and Daedra. Uh, Dawn's, Dawnbreaker is the best way to do that. Because you get a free undead kill. And you'll if you play enough campaign games... It, it, like the main story, you'll get this. I believe there's a couple of fights that have strictly undead and some that have Daedra. Uh, Atronax do count as Daedra, so if you kill them, it's a free E1. So be on the lookout for uh, basically Bre Bre uh, mo most of the Breton cards will summon you these creatures. Uh, the Necromancer, bring 30 creatures back from the dead. Um... That's, it can be fairly easy with Soul Tear, uh, Falkreath Defiler, Grave Digger. You run all three of those, and I guess it counts as bringing them back from the dead. I'm not cer certain about Soul Tear, but definitely the latter two. Uh, the Pack Leader. Change 50 Beast Form creatures into werewolves. Very easy, just keep attacking. The Pastry Chef. Make a sweet roll. That was, I think, added with Heroes of Skyrim, and that was the first title I got with that. And basically, you just use Grizzly Gourmet on a creature, or if you don't have it, uh, you hope that your Wabajack gives you a sweet roll, because it will do that sometimes. The Pickpocket, Pilfer 100 times, just use Pilfer creatures, attack face all the time, you'll get it. There are quite a few Pilfer decks out there who can easily do it within a few games. The Quick, starting title, uh, the Relic Hunter, early supporter of Return to Clockwork City. I pre-purchased this expansion, so that's the reason why I got that. 100 Willpower Games, some 300 Red Guards, breaking 500 runes. Just keep attacking your opponent, you'll bet. If you win a game, typically you'll have 5 runes a game. So win 100 games by killing your opponent and you'll get this title. Uh, complete chapter 20 with the Savior of Cyrodiil, so just beat the whole main story and you get this. The Seer, play 100 Prophecies, just play 100 cards off of Prophecy, I think. Uh, there is an achieve, there is a hidden achievement that I don't think I have, and it's not, sh it won't show on the list, but it's to play a Prophecy card off of every rune you play, off of every rune you have, so you gotta let your opponent... Make sure that your opponent can't outright kill you in, without breaking the last room. Smart, start, starting tile. The Smuggler, complete chapter 8 of the main story. Stalwart, a thousand games. The Strong, starting title. Supreme Atromancer, required for the Master Daedra. Uh, this was the first, or the Daedra Master, I mean. This is the first of the three that I got. And it's just summon 400 Atronox. Pretty easy. Um, Breton Conjurer, Conjuration Scholar, Conjuration Tutor. Tutor is actually really good because you'll summon a second copy of it. Um, and yeah. Very easy to get Atronax. Tactician, move 30 creatures. There's a move deck in the Dark Brotherhood that will move your creatures around. It's, vi it's basically very, it's a very easy way to get this title. Temple's Chosen. Reach 40 health at the Temple of Akatosh. That, that was a Dark Brotherhood, and in order to get a very special bonus that occurs when you get 40 health, or that occurs, you had to get 40 health. Thum Master, required for the Dragonborn, play 100 Shouts. If you play with Shouts, you'll eventually get this. Parthenax, great way to get more. Shackle, 50 enemy creatures. I find playing Assassin, specifically with um, 
Winter's Grasp and the Snake, the 5 mana 3-3 three, three, that will shackle all creatures in a lane. Very easy to get that, combined with, um, I forget the name of the card, but it's a, it, it deals 3 damage to any, any time a creature gets shackled. Wow, I have a long list. Uh, the Triumphant Yarl, 300 Nords. Win a game, the Untouchable, win a game of 5 turns or longer without taking any damage. I think they had to add the five turns in because it's very easy to get it otherwise. I think I was able to win by just killing all my opponent's creatures and never and he never had an action to damage me. I think you could get this is an easy one to get an arena as well. In addition, could probably get it during the campaign. If you're lucky enough. Uh, the victorious win hundred games. On the road to getting the five hundred game win. Walker Mundus give 50 keywords with Mundus Stone. I don't remember where, how I got that, but I know there's a Dark Brotherhood quest that has, that gives you Mundus Stone. That's probably where I got it. Thieves Guild quest, just complete a bunch of those. Brynjol, a Thieves Guild recruiter, slightly different. Gain 30 Magicka with Brynjolf, so just Pilfer or Drain with Brynjolf, and you'll get the Magicka. Oh, I'm at the end at last. And complete 30 Thieves Guild quests. Pretty self-explanatory. So now we're down here. I still don't have one of these. I think it's the Resolute, actually. So I hope to gain that eventually. But the one I am going to try attempt to get this video is... It's called the Engineer. Ah, there it is. So assemble a Factotum with 10 or more power and health. Sorry for the camera movement. So... That's the one we're going to try for this episode. And we are the Relic Hunter because we are trying to hunt those titles down. And I consider them, a, and I guess we're going to consider them as relics. So, without further ado, let's get started. Queue up with Fabricant's Call. It's a mage deck, and it just has a lot of draw power, a lot of resummoning power, just to try to get a Factotum to have the path. To have that power. Oh, uh, in news of the Grand Melee, I found it interesting that they, they gave away Piercing Javelin again. Which, while I was, I thought, okay, that's great. Now, I, that, I remember always wanting to get that card, but never being able to. I kind of thought, I thought, it kind of takes away from the first one. Which is very unfortunate. Since... I, I was really hoping to get a new alternate art card. I was half, I was okay with not owning Piercing Javelin. I'm gonna dump those guys back in the deck. And I was I was okay with it. With not with not owning a copy. So the the deck that we have here has all the fact ectotems that will give buffs. I also put in one copy of Reflective Automaton. And that was to have it at, as the creature that I plan on playing with all that power. Ulfric's Uprising, this is a great... I also saw this as a great way to test that card. Execute to help it with game removal, early game removal. Ice Spike, very good. Uh, Doppelganger to help try to get... Uh, to use on these creatures, to use on them to gain me some power. Hmm, okay. That looks like a good execute target, but we'll wait lit on that one. I'm gonna go ahead and give him the attack. We gotta get started with this. I might be able to do it if I'm lucky. Ah, uh, Revere Guardian, that's unfortunate. Let's see here, we have Dragon Priest Mask. Yeah, I, I also brought that into here. To try to see if we can trigger him. All right, so I'm just gonna take the turn time to clear up the field and maybe draw. No, sadly not. Add a journey to Sovereign Guard in the deck as well, so that all factotums that were in the grave can come back into the deck, and they get the plus five plus five, which will make it easier in case I make Let it to that late in the game. Uh, I could really use a factotum right about now. Uh, that's a fabricant. I put this in as a little extra try to gain something transform oh it's just another friendly creature i'm not going to play anything this turn 
I'm kind of hoping he plays one another creature into the left so I can use Mechanar's will. That's not what I had in mind, though. I shall end their blasphemy. That might actually be pretty much game over at this point. Oh, dear. All right, so I'm going to have to play a creature. I'll go ahead and... I meant to throw that in the left. My bad. All right, this is this is the one weakness with factotums. I'm sure it'll get easier at it, assuming they add some more into the deck into the game. But that's their number one weakness: is they're very few and this. difficult to play. The watch is mine. I shall end the blasphemy. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take this as a mul. I'm just gonna mulligan this. Didn't really get it. Didn't really get what I wanted. The battle is yours. Yeah, I had... A, my hand was stacked with all the cards that I needed in order to... Once I had them on the field, but I didn't exactly have any on the, any to play. Which is never a good thing. So let's go ahead, do that. I probably should have doppelgangered one of them out, so I at least had something. Alright, I will try. It might not happen. Might not happen this time around. Which would be very unfortunate. I also think I need to change my card back to the card back too. I'm getting a little tired of the return to Clockwork City. These are, they are very nice card backs, but I find that I get a little okay. Uh, I also threw on Kano in again, late game. And what was the other card? Here? Aid me. Oh wow, we are almost a mirror. That's kind of shocking. Let's see if I can pop out some oh, quick cards. For the right price. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna assemble guard. Now, good choice. It's not a good choice, but I do need to try to get around that creature. Please do not have Mage's trick. Okay, that's fine. Whoa, interesting. Okay, you have you've caught my attention. A calm. Um. I'm gonna actually use this turn. We're gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna play this. And then, uh, no point in calming that. We're gonna attack, grab the two cards, Mage's Trick and Winterhold Illusionist. Very nice, I can use that on the Sanitizer or another creature. I think our opponent might actually be playing more Glamour, if anything. Oh, that's bad. Oh, well, actually, that's not too bad. Okay, a little bit of health gain there. Let's go ahead. Play you in the in the right. Give you the extra attack. Attack into. I'm gonna calm that and attack it there. Try to see if we can weaken it, him before he gets the action or not action. The support it could be a support mage, which would suck for me, because this deck is not meant to go up against a support mage. Oh, dwarven dynamo! Interesting. Fortunately, I've got the mage's trick. Oh, I got double mage's trick, so I can deal with both of them. I can act actually, we can cl we can clean the whole field up. Yeah, I want to do that. So, I'll go ahead, attack into that. Alice Conspirator, give that reward, attack, attack. Um, I put Palace Conspirator, again, it's a card, and I can discard it, something that I don't want. Yeah, this is definitely a, this is going to be a very painful in the future. Okay, so let us see about drawing a Factotum, please. Not quite. I 
should be your eyes and ears. Probably going to be Ulfric's uprising. Your blood will spill. Actually, that was a dumb idea. I should have kept that because actually I should have used it because I could have gotten oh that missed opportunity. Oh well. Uh, I gotta hurry up and get my factotums out, otherwise he's gonna have an insanely power... It, if he gets the uh, Halls of the Dwemer, it's not gonna be very good. Spider with guard, that's okay. Doppelgang... Oh, come on, not again! Don't do this to me, game, please. Man, I don't want to use... This is a horrible, this is a crummy play, but I'm going to do it anyways. Finally, there's one I'm, I'll keep. And I'm going to get rid of the other fab, the, uh, that. Trade, attack. He's getting an awful lot of dwarven cards in that, dwarven cards in that hand, and I'm a little scared in case he gets something massive. Kalah, Hulkbuster would be a nightmare to see. Abandoned and perfect. Heroic rebirth. Oh, interesting. I wasn't expecting that at all. Stronghold incubator. All right, here we go. Let's get this going. Get the tr get the pain train rolling. All right, so we've almost met the power requirement. Um, if we use our Winterhold Mage and, and blink the uh, the sanitizer, I might, I'm not gonna blink, I might blink this one. Is he gonna get it? He got it, good job, good job. He's gonna draw that, that card too. Um, he's getting a little, a little too, oh, please do not get it. I think he got it. Yep. Oh wait, yeah, he did. Oh dear. Where's he gonna summon that bad boy? Yeah, this is gonna hurt a lot. Oh, Shadow Me. Oh, that's not bad. I'm just happy. Oh, well, he's probably sitting on a couple in hand. Cast him to time. Excellent choice. Excellent choice, deck. I didn't get any from his deck, unfortunately. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the ring to blink him. I don't want to attack him just yet. The goal is not to win the game, rather to build up the ultimate factotum. If I could get the assembled Titan, that'd be cool. that'd be really cool. Especially since it's gonna have a lot of juice now. We're on the cusp of a major discovery. By Stendar's breath, we are Whoa. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's not fine. That's really bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on, dude. I'm trying to do... I'm trying to make something working here. Okay, you're getting annoying now. Alright, let's Palace Conspirator. Oh, really? Of course I would get that. They'll move along if they don't want trouble. They'll move along if they don't want trouble. I just have to live a little bit longer. Yeah, that's the problem with this, is I gotta get really lucky in order to get it. Treasure map. I knew that was eventually going to happen. Just what to do with this. And here comes the Halls of the Dwemer. The Night Mother will guide us. <laughs> what is this deck? Yeah, that I saw coming from a mile away. That hurt a lot. That's unfortunate. There's no prize for second place. I didn't actually mean to play him here. I really wish he spawned over here. 
Well, there's my Awakened Imperfect. I can't play him here because there's still an, a lethal there. I did warn them. You saw me out, did you? Oh, the illusion mage is never as he seems. I did warn them. They'll move along if they don't want trouble. Yeah, this is looking like it's going to be game over. I don't have any prophecies in this deck. Oh, great. Another one. Oh. Oh. I thought I was saying... And he's even packing the reflective automatons. Oh, no doppelganger. Hey, look who finally decided to join the party. Oh, I know a great... A, dece, a pretty cool play we can make. Just play that. Give him the health, gain the... All I have to do is just draw a bunch of Factota. Uh, just draw a couple of Factotums and we should be okay. We might be able to do this. This might be salvageable. I mean, I would be... It would be very surprising if I won. All things considering. Well... Uh, what's the one thing I, I need? I did not need that to happen. I think he missed lethal. Okay, I really need... Okay, that that's that's fine. No, not that. Don't do that. Oh, I'm one short! No! I am one short! On the plus side, I get a, t I get a lot of health from these. Wait, hold on a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Am I one short? If I assemble this with the one health, does it count? Does that count? Oh, does that count? I don't know. If I assemble that with the one health, I have to play this guy first, obviously. So I'll play it here. Oh, and it gets guard too. That's very nice. Gain the four health. Gain that. And gain four more health. Oh! This might be... Do we might have done this. I just bought myself at least one more turn. He's gonna get rid of that lethal creature. I forgot they had guards, so I, I the ordering was wrong. I, I meant to place this this guy here and the other guy here. Oh no, Odaving, no! Come on, Alfred. Oh no, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. I don't. I don't. No, no, no! Oh no! That might not be good enough. Come on, no, dude, no, oh, no, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, please tell me that was, that was what I was looking for, because otherwise my opponent, why? You saw what I was trying to do, just, I wasn't even attacking you. Yes, we got it! <laughs> We got it! The clutch capture of the engineered title. Assemble a factotum with 10 power and 10 attack. I even got 11. I had one more power to spare. Now, again, if I had actually drawn another factotum and he didn't have Odaving, I would have wiped the rest of that game. As well as if I had actually played my creatures in the correct lanes. That would have also helped out a lot, too. But you guys saw how to get it. Um, another way you can get it, I guess, is Alter Assassin, where you play Factotums instead of the normal Alter that you get. Uh, but that, that, man, that was awesome. Clutch last second. Didn't think I was going to get that. <sighs> that felt good.
that is going to be all it for today, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed. Hit that like button, especially just for that... Oh, that beautiful play. Got snatching a title at the last second. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to let any anyone know. Well, actually, that was the wrong way. If you think somebody else will enjoy my content, let let uh, don't be afraid to share it with other people. And if you enjoyed the, this video, definitely check out my other content. I got Ratchet and Clank, Jack Daxter, Sly Cooper. I got a few different titles currently right now and many more to come in the future. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys will enjoy the new series. Until next time, take it easy.